Hey, how's it going guys? So yeah, I missed my video yesterday, I beg my pardon, but uh, you'll see why in a few seconds here, but today basically I'm just going to be working on putting that differential back in my parts car there, and hopefully I'm going to just roll the thing outside and it can sit there until I get it sold and all that, but I don't know, I'll show you what I was up to yesterday there. Went to London, did a little bit of shopping, so I had that like 45 degree uh, 3 inch pipe for a little while there, but I went and got some uh, 3 inch like two bolt GM style flat flanges there so they're pretty thick and durable I've used them like quite a bit in the past and all that so it's not too bad and uh, picked up this three inch like high flow cat there you can see the honeycomb in there and all that so I got that and then uh, this three inch like glass pack I'm gonna use for a resonator there just on the mid pipe and quiet it all down and cause so like I'll be able to make the full three inch mid pipe and I have this like three inch HKS down pipe here but uh the flange on it is uh, made to hook up to the stock exhaust system there, so I'm going to have to cut that off and put like the actual 3 inch flange on there, so I got that stuff and uh, well, another thing too, I went and uh, went to the Mazda dealership, oh it's upside down, yeah I picked up like new, that other solenoid I needed for the turbo control, so I'll be able to get this car uh, running pretty sweet. Just keep her on the road for a couple weeks until I get my rebuild kit to do the engine and stuff. So be able to actually enjoy it instead of it just sitting here. So, But uh, today I'm going to be working on the differential there. I got her all jacked up here. Almost ready to go. So I got to go in here. Just unbolt the top of the hub there so I can uh, get it to like just flop forward enough that it will bring the axle back and I can slip the differential in there. So. Just about to get started on that, so hold on. Alright, so I got it all set up here for the action shot. I'm just going to unbolt the shock first. Yeah, I'll try not to block it too much with my hands there. So and then just unbolt the top of the hub here. Yeah, so it's just those two bolts there, so let's pop those out there, see how they make it. Yeah, so that sits down now, so I should be able to tilt it right back a bit. So that moves the axle back quite a bit there, so hopefully I have enough room in there to slip her in place, so I'll try that out. Yeah, so I got the diff just resting on the jack here, waiting to go in there, so I'm just going to slide her under there, and I'll try to set the camera up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright guys, so I ended up undoing this little thing right there, so I could get it to tilt right down. But I'm having a hell of a time trying to get the thing to stay balanced on the jack and jack it up. It freaking just fell off, so I don't know. It probably should be a two-man job, but I'm just going to do the same thing I did to this wheel here to the other side there, just so I can jack the diff right straight up, bolt it in, and then just slide the axles in. Like It's probably what I should have did in the first place. I was just trying to be lazy, so hold on. I'll tear that other wheel apart. Yeah, I got my buddy to come over here to help me jack this up there, so hopefully we can get that in. Alright guys, so I got that sitting up there, so I don't know, I got the axes all popped in, so this should be good for now. So I'll just put the wheels back on. I got those all put back together here. Just hit my light for you guys, so. Yeah, those are all back together, so put the wheels on and then should be good. Alright guys, that kind of took longer than I thought there, I had to get my buddy to come help me and all that, so I guess that's going to be all for today, so check back tomorrow and I'll start working on my good car here and uh, make that exhaust and put in that uh, turbo control solenoid there, so I don't know, I'll talk to you guys later.